Don L. Walton is here with me now, and most people know what a pioneer Dr. Willie Hobbs Moore was, and you knew her personally. So first African-American woman, PhD in physics, paving the way for a lot of other African-American women, certainly, but on a personal level, tell us something we don't know. So I went to University of Michigan, where she went to school a few years before me. And I was completely unaware that she had been there, nor any other African-Americans. I was the only one in the program at the time, the PhD program at the time. And I met with Ron Mickens. He came to visit, and he gave a talk on science. He's a physicist from Clark Atlanta University. And at dinner that evening, he talked about some of the pioneering aspects the University of Michigan had. He said the second black PhD in physics came from the University of Michigan in 1918, and the first black woman was uh, Willie Osmore in 1972. He said, moreover, he believes she still lives in the community. So I made it my personal quest to find out where she was. I volunteered at a Saturday program for African-American students in science and math. And one of the, the person that ran it was uh, Bill um, Ratcliffe, who was the father of APS fellow William Ratcliffe. I went to him that Saturday and I said, hey, do you know Willie Hopps Moore? And he said, that's her right over there. You know, she, was, she had been tutoring with me every Saturday. I had just had no idea. So I ran over to her and I introduced myself and said something and she just kind of put her hand up in my face, didn't even look up and said, I'm busy right now. And I was like, oh, wow. And then later that day when we were leaving, she came over to me, she said, sorry, um, I was at the verge of teaching this young lady how to prove congruent triangles or something. Uh, how may I help you? And I introduced myself again and we started meeting every Saturday. Around that same time, I was asked to lead a um, black student or uh, organization uh, meeting the National Conference of uh, Black Physics Students, which was, would have been held in D.C. that year. And I asked her, would she come? And she said, yes, yeah, she was happy to come. And we were going to give her the first uh, Edward Boucher in honor of the, her pioneering work. We met, we talked, and then she kind of disappeared. And I couldn't get in touch with her. And I found out that she had passed. She had been living with cancer for over a decade. But in spite of that, she still, as I said, she was always mentoring. Um, always working in the community. The road that she paved, did she have any idea what a leadership role she had, what a pioneer she truly was? I'm not sure how much she thought about it, but some people write about history, some people make it. She was definitely in the latter category. Right. 50 years later, how far have we come? We've come uh, a long way, but there's still a long, long, long way to go. There are some biases, but I don't necessarily think it's bias against. I think it may be biases for people tend to hoard opportunities. And we need to think about that aspect of it, right? Um, as opposed to thinking that it's against someone, it's more for someone else. And so what do you think people should be doing right now? How can we give people marching orders to make things better? I think public good. I mean, thinking about education as a public good, uh, healthcare is a public good. We've, we've moved away from that. We've privatized many things. From my background, my socioeconomic background, today, the likelihood that I would have gone to school is much, much lower now because Pell Grants are minuscule compared to the, the cost of education. Grants and scholarships are how I went to school. I didn't have any parental contribution. And that has just gotten worse. And I think educating people that it is an issue and it needs people to get involved, yeah. I think, is one step toward making things happen. I think that you know, public good is, is really the, uh, the way I would address it. No easy answer, certainly, but a very important topic to talk about. Thank you. Thank you.